This episode of TechZilla is sponsored by Domain.com. Like your home, a PC can benefit from a good spring cleaning. From leftover files clogging up your hard drive to getting the dust bunnies inside your case, it's something everyone should do on an annual basis, at least. And here is Roger Chang with his weirdly appropriate t-shirt to I show don't think us how it's to weirdly, get it done. I think it's coincidentally appropriate. It's, I, really? That was a do, coincidence. Do you, get, do you get it? The vacuum of space? It's the vacuum of space. I, I totally vacuum, get that. Vacuum? It's pretty amazing. All right, well, <laughs> You know, it's interesting because uh, we, we used to get emails, actually some angry emails, about me vacuuming out my PC. I remember that, yeah. And so I say, well, what the hey, it's spring, you got to clean a bunch of junk out of your machine anyway, so why not combine everything into like one nice nifty segment where I can open a PC and suck the dirt out? So obviously we have, there's a software element to this and then also a, a yes. physical, more hardware element to this as well. So for those who don't necessarily need to vacuum their uh, PC, prep, you have a laptop or, and you're on the go, uh, there's a lot of stuff that builds up on your laptop over time. It could be uh, downloads that you have, uh, extraneous files, registry entries, all sorts of things that just happen to, to clog up your system mm -hmm. over time. Now, one of the things we often recommend is just do a clean install. If you have a good recent, and those are the two keywords, good and recent backup of either OS X or Windows, and they both have backup utilities in them, you can do a reinstall and then you can migrate all over your, you can migrate your files from your backup. That, that does seem like a little bit of overkill to it me is, for a spring cleaning. It is overkill for some people, but you know, it, I, I will say it does make a huge difference, just okay. having all that detritus swept away. Now, if you're not that into it, not that hardcore, a little timid, there's some things you can do with some free utilities to kind of sweep away the mess that you've built up over the past year. Now, one of my favorite is C Cleaner. I used to call it CC Cleaner for some reason, but C Cleaner. Um, and as you can see, it's a very basic utility. And what it allows you to do is clean out Windows as well as your web uh, browsers uh, of any kind of uh, detritus that you might have uh, built up. All you have to do is click Analyze, and it goes through, finds all the uh, files. Usually these are temp files that you get when you install a new application. Oftentimes it uncompresses and makes a little temp file mm -hmm. or folder, and uh, puts files in there, installs from there, but doesn't delete it. So it just sits there taking up space. Now if you repeat this over you know, 10, 20, 30, 50 applications, uh, it's a lot of files that's just eating up space. And CCleaner allows you to clean up all of that, plus allows you to fix any registry settings. Oftentimes when you install and uninstall applications, you have references to various things that no longer apply because you uninstalled it, but the registry still has it. Gotcha. So it will also go through and clean, and it allows you to back up, just in case, and then sweep everything away. Now next, if you're, um, if you're a Windows user, you know that Windows applications love sticking themselves into your startup folder, which is very annoying because what happens is, if you notice on the bottom of this particular laptop, there's just all sorts of uh, applications kind of sitting there in the system tray, including this kind of non-functional antivirus from two years ago. Um, I'll have to uninstall that later, but uh, a great application to, to kind of go through that is AutoRuns. I know there's MS Config, but AutoRuns is much better when you don't have to run MS Config, but it's a lot more in depth. Now I will warn people that unless you know what you're kind of striking out, uh, just pick the stuff that you know you don't necessarily need. For example, if you have backup utilities or something like Carbonite or mm -hmm. CrashPlan you know runs in the background, uh, if you if you uncheck that so it doesn't start up at the beginning, it won't be backing up. Dropbox, the same thing. You won't have a Dropbox. So make sure you know what you want, and all you have to do is go through and uncheck those particular items. And uh, you also have uh, certain advanced level stuff, including boot execute, image hijacks. These are for more sophisticated kind of uh, users, but just going through and just finding out what actually loads up on your system, and there's a lot. A lot of these are also registry settings, so don't monkey with them. Yeah, so is this more, this seems to be more of like advanced user kind of stuff. Like it's, it is advanced user, but if you know what's starting up and you mm -hmm. can't find a way to uncheck it normally, to start it from starting, this is actually a great way to do it. Um, for OS X, I love Cocktail. Um, it's it's not a free application, but it does a lot of the similar kind of stuff as the first, as CCleaner. Um, it's, it's like $14 for a single user uh, license, um, but it takes care of a lot of the same kind of stuff, and it does so in a really nicely laid out kind of way. Um, so I definitely recommend that. It's called Cocktail from Maintain, and like I said, for 15 bucks, it's it's really great to kind of stay on top of all that stuff. And am I not wrong in saying like once you stop some of these applications from starting up, your PC somehow seems to be so much snappier because you're not mm -hmm. running this application in the background that you don't need. Now. Um, 
Uh, a third thing that people often kind of fill up on, especially if you're download happy, is you get a lot of files, especially video files and music files from various sources, which we will not go into. Now, oftentimes, as in my case, you have multiple hard drives or have multiple uh, partitions. Not exactly sure where all those files are. Space Sniffer is a great free utility. The ones all on the PC I've shown so far are all free. Um, it lets you basically make a, a visual uh, drive uh, map. So it kind of gives you, see right here, as it goes through, it tells you um, what certain files take up the most. And right now, the page file, of course, is the largest because there's not that much in here. But if you say it had a bunch of, like, you know, uh, um, uh, music files, say, you know, from the Grateful Dead or something like that because you're dead and just have it chock full. <laughs> it's eating into your space or you have a lot of work stuff from a year ago that you you couldn't delete, but you could back off, back up onto an external hard drive or burn out into a DVD. Save, uh, you clear space, you have more room to work with, and you can still back up uh, the things that you need to back up. Now, uh, for the Mac side of things, uh, you can use an application called Disk Inventory X. Mm -hmm. Let me pull up the website. And it does similar thing, uh, does essentially the same thing, except that the, uh, the visuals are a little different. It uses this kind of weird uh, mid-90s uh, kind of gradient coloring scheme. I kind of dig it. I actually use Disk Inventory as X. I've been using it for a long time. I haven't run it in a really long time, though, so it's, it's going through all my folder contents right now, and who knows how long that's going to take. What, it, what's it, kind of embarrassing is when you run it, and then you realize, like, oh, yeah, that's that video I've been seeing on my hard drive, and typically, for my case, it's like a bunch of old Texilla episodes, which I love, oh. but I don't necessarily need to keep. It just finished. Oh, nice. So you can see all the stuff, so it, it goes by color, color coding, of course. You you can see um, different ty types of iTunes documents. Ooh, you your private is 9.2 gigabytes. It's big. There's a lot of stuff in there. I should probably a lot of get privates. to work on that. All right, and then uh, another app I love. Uh, you know, there's App Zapper, right? And uh, that allows you to uninstall because yep. OS X doesn't necessarily have uninstall utilities unless the application you installed has one built in. Uh, FreeMacSoft has uh, a application called App Cleaner that works very similar. Lee. Oh, it looks uh, very similar as well, yeah. And I can say I've had pretty much great success with this. This deletes not only the, the application file, but any associated files, including uh, anything in the library, as well as plists and all that stuff that you need to uh, hose out, does it without any problems. And uh, if you don't really want to shell out for App Zapper, this is a great alternative. Well, it's not that much. Look, I can demonstrate App Zapper right now. I've got this old iPhone ringtone creator. Just drag it into App Zapper. It shows everything that's associated with that, and then you just go, and it's dead. Or you can just download App Cleaner for free <laughs> and do the exact oh, same thing. I already thing. paid for it. I love the sound. All right. Does it make the sound? No. Uh, no, it has a different sound. It doesn't do the zap sound, though. Okay. I think that's trademarked. Worth uh, now, the final thing, of course, is vacuuming. Now, I know a lot of people usually kind of like, eh, you're an idiot. Why are you vacuuming? You're going to short out your system. Well, first of all, the hoses I use, I will grab the hose Bring right here. Bring out the shop vac. Is, uh, is plastic. And yeah, I know plastic can hold the charge, but it doesn't hold, it's not exactly the lightning rod that a piece mm -hmm. of metal is. Two, I ground myself, uh, usually on a, a metal object grounded to the floor. And three, I use the appropriate attachments. In this case, I actually have a bunch of uh, items that I got off Amazon. And basically, these are small tools that you can use that, you, that plugs into any uh, canister vac. This is about seven bucks. It's actually seven eighty with shipping. Uh, but as you can see, as little bristles, this is a little universal adapter for any hose that you might have, uh, as well as different picks and tools. It's designed for a multitude of things. I originally bought it to clean out my dryer, but it also works great oh. on my uh, um, uh, PC. And what you want to do is, and this is the thing, people think I just shove the hose in there and just do that. No, what you want to do is kind of strategic uh, pick out what you want to clean. For example, the fan, uh, perhaps a PCI or a PCI Express card. In some cases, I used to use a, a, a compressed can of air and I would spray some and then vacuum some, spray some and vacuum mm -hmm. some. The key is I don't want to spray a lot of dust, uh, or not spray, use a uh, spray can, spray, uh, spray air in there, have it float around and resettle back into the PC. Right, so you want to kind of loosen it up with, uh, exactly. with the spray can. Exactly. And, and then uh, I just gently go over the areas that I want to clean, then uh, here, let me do this. I know you're going to sneeze, I'm sorry. Just do this, you just gently just, you know, with the brush tool. And the great thing is this has a little, uh, this has a, essentially like a escape valve at the tip. Uh -huh. So it's not using the full suction, so you're not going to be sucking off sur surface mounted components. 
but you can just kind of gently clean out, especially the, uh, the problem areas are down here and around the power supply. I can't hear um, anything you're saying. I can only sorry. hear, there you go. The problem areas because are typically loud. around the Shut power supply. back on. The, just think it's the power cold. supply and the fans. So gotcha. those are the two areas. Plus, also check the front near the drives because you want to maintain a uh, clean airflow throughout the system. Nice. So vacuum, shop vac, not necessarily a dangerous thing if you know no, how to use it right. Exactly. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to vacuum, try those applications. I think you will be pleasantly surprised at how much more performance you can wring out of your laptop, PC, once you get rid of all the detritus and crap that's been plaguing it for years or a year. All right. Excellent spring cleaning tips. Thanks, Raj. Sure. And I'm still positive that you wore that shirt on purpose. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. All right, we've got more Texel still to come. But before we do that, it's time to thank one of our sponsors. Need a domain name for that new business website or blog? Then you need to register a new .com. A .com domain is the original and it's the best. It's globally understood and it gives your website immediate credibility no matter what name you choose. Now, find a new .com at domain.com. We on the show here like Domain.com because they're affordable, they're reliable, and they're easy to use. Plus, Domain.com's active social media presence on Twitter, at Domain.com, and their great customer support make it a fun place to do business. Hey, we have an awesome coupon code worth a big 20% discount off of Domain.com's already low prices. What is that code? Techzilla, and you use that when you check out at Domain.com. And that's 20% off, folks. That's big time savings. And please don't forget to give the Techzilla coupon code some love. And when you think domain names, think Domain.com, and that's a .com. 